going to have these buses on the street this fall. We're going to start to make a difference. The Detroit mayor's first state of the city address talking about changes already made and so many more to come. Our Detroit 2020 insider and Detroit Free Press editor of the editorial page, Stephen Henderson, was also watching that speech very closely last night. Yeah, thank you for being here again. Thanks for having uh, me. Give us your overall impression, and then let's talk about city services that the mayor talked yeah. about last well, night. Well, I mean, I think this was a very strong speech, uh, not just in the specifics that he laid out, but in the, the sort of broad vision that he was talking about for the city, that he's not just trying to manage the decline that we have, he's trying to push things forward on a number of different fronts, and fronts we haven't heard from mayors So before. many positives. Uh, DDOT, for instance, uh, he talked about actually hiring new mechanics, drivers, and, and pressing Washington for buses. Yeah, uh, new buses. Uh, new anyone buses. who lives in the city and rides a DDOT bus can tell you what condition they're in. They're very old. The maintenance on them is, is not great. He wants new buses here by fall. I think if you looked at the clip there and you saw Don Graves from the White House uh, uh, his reaction. I'm not sure we'll get him by fall. That's probably a, a little well, optimistic. Yeah, he got their attention, and he's uh, the 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 White House has committed to the idea of helping us do that so. quickly too. Yeah. And and talk about the lighting because he's already tackled the lighting issue and things progress is being made in the city of Detroit already. Well, I you know I live on East Jefferson. My lights have come back on wow. uh, for the first time in two years. Uh, uh, the mayor and the council reconstituted the public lighting authority uh, early in when he got into office. It's making a difference. They're putting in LED lights all over. We, they say they'll be done with it by the end of next year. People feel safer. Last night, as he was giving a speech, there was a, a carjacking and a, and a murder of a security guard last sure. night. That kind of crime is exactly what he was talking about when he's talking about trying to beef up the police department and, and by extension, EMS and fire. Yeah, well, I, those are the, the critical services that, that uh, contribute to the way people feel in the city. Do you feel safe uh, when you live there or work there? And right now, most people don't. So there's a lot of work to do, just not just uh, getting more people and equipment, but deploying it the right way. Did he succeed in, in convincing people? People that it will be safer? Well, one of the things I think about this mayor that we're all learning is that he's a follow up kind of guy. He says something and then he comes back to it. Uh, his staff has learned that really quickly, I understand. Uh, I think we, we can look to him in this speech to do the same thing. He's not just talking last night, he will come back to these things and show what kind of progress he's and made. And he's walking around the city without a bunch of security guards around him. That's he right. knows what's happening. Let's talk about the mayor talking tough on scrappers and asking for support on House Bill 4593. Let's take a listen. Just for catalytic converters, air conditioners, or copper wire, you have to take a picture with a clear image of the seller. Now, now that, that's a good <laughs> change. I mean, we have a church in Detroit right now. Water is bubbling up Still. through <laughs> Conant Gardens yeah. Church because right. scrappers because came in there. Because somebody came in there and yes, yeah, you can find that in houses all up and down blocks all over the city, and these scrappers. Uh, can sell that stuff for, for good money at a lot of uh, scrap yards. So Lansing's dealing with this bill. What can Mayor Duggan do to get them to pass it? I think he was, he was uh, talking to some specific legislators uh, last night. Uh, the, the, we have two very strong sponsors of those bills, uh, Rashida Tlaib and Virgil Smith. Uh, I think he's talking to some of the other folks in the delegation from Detroit and around the state that we need this uh, to make a big difference for Detroit. Have your picture, have your license, have uh, your address, and, and wait wrong, for your money. Right, and what's wrong with that? I mean, if you got it legitimately, you shouldn't object to that kind of uh, documentation. All right, so uh, D insurance, that's probably one of the biggest splashes. We're going to listen here and talk about the city going into the car insurance business. Again, here's the mayor's proposal. It is not justified. It doesn't matter if you have a perfect driving record and never been in an accident. Most Detroiters are paying more a month for car insurance than they are for the car payment itself. Long I just was uh, tweeting with a guy who lives in Detroit. And he pays almost five thousand a year for two cars. Yeah, that's five thousand dollars a year. For two uh, cars. That's not uncommon. Uh, the mayor said that when he moved in uh, to the city, he, his bill went from three thousand, I think, to six thousand. Uh, that's not uncommon, and, and that makes it very difficult to have a car, which most Detroiters need because we don't have great public transportation. Mm -hmm. Uh, you need it to get to work. Uh, it, it's also an incentive for people to break the law, right? To, to drive around without insurance, and that's a big problem in the city. If he can do this, and I, I've got real doubts about, you know, the capital needed for this, yeah, and, for a bankruptcy. Uh, you know, uh, that's a big, big uh, ticket item. But but just talking about it and and uh, sort of pointing to that as a goal, I think, is pretty important. But people in Detroit have been gouged, and this has been talked about for years. So if he can make a dent, if I mean, he can people solve will be that. happy. Huge, huge I mean, progress. It, right, it would be miraculous almost. All right, thank All you right. so much. 2020 Stephen, Insiders, for being here. Stephen Henderson, thank you Absolutely. so much. Absolutely, thank you guys.